I've got an overwhelming amount of things that I need to do on the Hermitcraft server, which means I've done none of them, and continued to put them off as if I've got nothing to do. And what else did I do? I... Oh my. I went ahead and started three more projects as if I didn't have enough to do. So, what I've got here is um, the very humble beginnings of a different way to go forward with the giant bridge across the big rock of Dwayne and the big rock of Mumbo Jumbolio. But then I realised it wasn't going how I expected it to, it's just a uh, complete shambles of stone placement. I also started detailing under here and stopped halfway through. And I've still got some farm work to do up there. And I started a cave entrance over here. I think I've got a problem. Well, how do we tackle multiple things to do and being unable to complete them? One at a time, that's what. Now the reason I'm doing this is because there's some strange noises coming out of this here hole down at the rift. You hear that? Yeah. That's because the rift is down there and it has been mostly forgotten and I want to change that. Now a few episodes ago I did say what I was planning to do was fly down this here tube and fly all the way down into the rift. Well, I started doing that and realised that this is a extremely impractical way of getting to the rift. And it's probably going to result in many, many flight deaths. It's quite a bit further than I expected. So I went for the easier option, and that's build a cave and dig a hole straight down. But as with everything lately, I've not been able to finish it. So we are definitely going to do some work today, and we're going we're gonna to finish some of these projects. Take a look at this here bridge and you may not even know what I was trying to go for. Let me show you what it was originally supposed to look like. This is the original design. It's sort of a more traditional multi-tiered, multi-arched bridge. Actually looks quite nice. If it doesn't work out, this is what I'm gonna backtrack to. However, I did want to make a bridge that more matched the theme of Dwayne the Rocks and the Floating Rocks. So prepare to be amazed by my fantastic art skills. You guys have seen this before. I, I can build in Minecraft, but I can't draw on MS Paint. However, it is really, really useful for visualizing what I want to get. So this is the, uh, the attempt, and this is what I'm going to try and do. Create multiple floating rocks that make up a multiple floating rock bridge with one big arch either side. This should fit a bit better into the theming, and then from there, gonna make the big old cave right here. We're kicking off with uh, some determination to stop procrastinating. I literally just got distracted by the fact there was copper here. Uh, it's not going well. So what I think we should do is actually crack on with some of this stuff because the rift down there is making some noise and I would like to actually put some attention into that area. I've got a very specific plan and it's kind of out of sight and out of mind at the moment. So we're going to fix that very steadily by working on this part. We're going to do some structural stuff a little later on once I've got more of a firm plan. I've got some basic ideas, but not enough to actually feel confident to get started. So we're going to turn our attention back over to the rift. Let's hop into a very quick time lapse of me making a real mess of things. Let's go. As always, I've done a little bit more than the time lapse suggests and I've added some texture to this design. I've got to say, this might be a little bit like Marmite, you either love it or hate it. I don't mind it, if I'm honest. Like, I actually think that the other design that I showed you earlier is cleaner. However, 
I prefer this from a creative standpoint because the other one I have built that kind of bridge before so I know what I'm doing. This one took me a little bit more out of my comfort zone. This is more organic and slightly harder to build with all the broken up parts. Someone above me there. So what else have I done? I have created an enormous, gigantic hole down to the rift here. So, and you can hear the noise spewing at- hey, Oh, goodness. I've just been thwarted by a wooden stick. Hello? Hello? Hello there, did I scare you? Oh, is it the, you? it's the dare stick. It's the dare stick. <laughs> I, co yep. I completely forgot about the dare stick. <laughs> I, got, I gotta be honest, I tried to get, like, the perfect punch down in this hole. <laughs> oh, I was- okay. Yeah, I see, I see, I see, I see what you were up to. Um, how does the dare stick work again? I've- um, it's it's uh, it's pretty read. straightforward. I I slap you. Yeah. And uh, and then I will give you a dare, uh, which you have to accept. And then you carry out the dare. And then once you've done that, this dare stick is yours to to do it. So on it's not mine else. until I've done the dare. Exactly. Okay. Yep. What's the what's the dare? You got to be a bit creative with this one, okay. but I think it suits you. You are to invent a word with at least three syllables. For example, babomba. Okay. But, but your own word. Yeah. And then you have to use it in conversation, written or spoken, uh, or both, with at least three other hermits oh, in goodness. your next episode. Okay. <laughs> and you should use it as a descriptive word. For example, this base looks ba -bomba. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. I can do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It can be. It can be negative as well. Like, uh, wow, this this base is quite babomba, isn't it? All right, okay. I'll just convince them it's one of our British words. It'll go down a tree. <laughs> this is perfect because the next the next part of the of this there is bonus points or or try and use it to an extent where you convince them that it it means something from like ancient English or whatever you want. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. I'll uh, I'll try and think of a word. Why? All of a sudden, I've forgotten all the words that exist forever. So I, I don't know how I'm you, gonna make one up. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to think of the spot. You can, you can be creative. You can all take right. your time. Okay. All right. Don't worry. All right. Well, thanks. And then once I'll you're know. done, let me know, and I'll pass the dare stick over. Okay. All right. I'll give all that right. a go. All right. <laughs> a bomba. Ba bomba. Make up your own word. Yeah. <laughs> make up your own word. <laughs> okay. See you around. Bye. Words. I need to. Think of a word to describe something. Hmm. I have to sit on this one. Okay, so let's actually go down and take a look at what this hole has done to the good old Rifteruni. So we've got a gigantic... You can actually see the base from in here, which is super cool. Now the plan is to try and create a lab in this space and create a transition where you can fly in, obviously maintaining the integrity of the giant rift, which I've got to say, it's looking pretty cool. The things that are going to come out of this are going to hit, I don't know, the nostalgia buttons. The idea here is that this is a rift in time and space. So this is going to bring forth everything we're going to need and keep in a, in a kind of like a Batman style, the Batcave, you know, where Batman kind of keeps all of his trophies from his uh, past uh, victories. Well, the Rift is going to create the lab around it. Well, actually, no, I'm going to create it, but we're going to act like the Rift has done it. And then we are going to have this space. I, it's feeling more connected than ever. And I've got to say, I love the Rift. The rift is so cool. It's maybe a bit flat, but it's just the fog effect. Right, so, obviously, this is very unclean at the moment, but it took quite a while just to dig the hole, and I've got a smidge more texturing that I want to do to the bridge while I think of a word as good as babomba. Is gibbity a word? Could I use gibbity? That's a, that, uh, that sounds like it could be a word. Well, that's what I need to look for. I need to look for something that sounds like it could be a word, but isn't a word. Gibbity. Gibbity. Let me get my pocket dictionary out and check this one out. Gibbity is not a word. And while in the time I took to find out whether it was a word, I have textured some stuff. 
but I also came up with another word that I think is better, but it's slightly more against what Iskal said. So Iskal said at least three syllables, which means my gibberty word that works, but I prefer the word chobble, which is not a word, but it is chobble is only two syllables. So what if I use chobble, but in slightly extended word, so troublesome or chobbleworthy. That may not be one word. Do you know what? It really doesn't matter. Troublesome. I'm going to call it troublesome, and my fake definition is that it's like talk-worthy. So if, you're, if you've got something that's troublesome, it's not troublesome, it's troublesome, it means that it's worth talking about. With, for, for, I think, positive reasons. So this is pretty troublesome. Gotta say, I could, I could talk about this for a while. Remember, this is a made-up word. Impulse is actually streaming right now, which means he's probably more up for a chat than most people. So why don't we try out our new trobbly word and see how that goes down. But before we uh, head off, I want to show you in the big old uh, rock up here, the tall rock, I went and did some work to the bamboo and the kelp farm. I managed to make it functional. Now, I did go into the kelp science, and I did adapt a design for my own purposes. I tried really hard, I just, I was getting frustrated, and the key was using these fence gates to make sure that the actual block hits kelp. You know what? I'm I keep, I keep forcing this kelp content on you and no one's interested. Not a single person cares about my kelp science and my kelp, my kelp rock. No one cares except me. Just want to share this little project. Right, we're gonna go <laughs> use the, the word troublesome with impulse. I really hope this isn't spoilers, but oh my goodness. This is an incredible build. It's so spooky. All right, I believe Impulse's industrial district is this. You know what? I haven't actually been touring much of the server. Oh, I am so far behind. Look at this trio of bases. This is the equivalent of a Hermitcraft trifle. You got your jelly, you got your cream, and you got your custard. Ah, oh, you know, it doesn't matter which one's which, but... Look at this. So this is obviously Pearl's base, looking phenomenally alien. You've got Gem's base, looking phenomenally castly, and the whole lot of it is troublesome. And then you got Impulse's wonderful dwarven thing. The whole thing is incredibly troublesome. We should all be talking about this. All right, I think it's just over here. He's got big plans, big layouts. The wings gave it Hello? away. The wings gave me away. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of came in hot there. You hit the ground pretty hard. Uh, I was, yeah, I was just flying over here, and I, uh, I actually haven't done much of a sort of look around lately. And I passed over the, the trio of bases that you, Gem, and Pearl, uh, and I, yeah, it's absolutely incredible. I, it was, uh, yeah, oh, it's man. a very troublesome base you've got going on there. I described it as a trifle. A trifle. Yeah, that's that's a good word for it. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it, they're they're doing amazing things over there. I can't keep up with them. No. Nah, I had to dig out a mountain first. Now your so base. You, no, yours yours is just as troublesome as the as uh, uh, pearls and gems. It's uh. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. So this is uh, my industrial district, and I'm slowly but surely propping up farms here. What is Got that? Shulker farm. Yeah, it's a shulker farm. It's turned off right now because I'm trying to make it look good. Uh, I'm glad I, I'm glad I know where this is now, if I'm honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I got somebody I probably wouldn't even notice any missing. Wink, wink. The most so. <laughs> valuable, the most valuable stuff that you can get is knowing where people's industrial district is. This is the most valuable <laughs> information on the server is just knowing where things are. Very cool. Go ahead. Go ahead. I know you want to press a button. It's fine. Am I allowed? You're allowed. I think. <laughs> oh, not all the buttons, Grid! What do you oh, mean? Geez. You said I could press the buttons! I said, I said a button! A button! <laughs> Actually, this is a good stress test. What? <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. If, yeah, if you say I can press the button, you know I'm gonna press the button. <laughs> okay. I think things I'm are sure broken. They're fine. No, they're not coming back. Uh, 
Are they, they, are they meant to come back as as zombies? Still two MIA. I'm they, sure they're somewhere. Are they they're lost in the system? <laughs> they might be. I'll be honest. Uh, when you said press the button, I didn't know what the buttons did, and that's why I pressed them all. <laughs> it was much more exciting. Oh no. Oh, they're here. Oh, I should, that's oh, all. They're gonna okay. be fine. Whew. You're good. You're good. This, I I was told I was told this system was green proof, so they lied. There's no such they thing lied. as a green proof <laughs> it can't project. Be done. It can't be done. Oh, watch your step, by the way. Watch your step. There's a uh, it's sadness down in there. That was exceptionally close. And wow, uh -huh. that's that's goes. quick. Wow. Yeah. That's efficient. I have to do this sort of stuff manually. What, what surprised me the most is this is an area that like nobody really knows exists so to have a visitor here But you actually aren't the first scar visited me a few weeks ago I ah, see scar uh, and I we both know the trick of finding out where everyone else's <laughs> industrial districts are Yeah, we both we both uh -huh. we learned that trick very early on is uh, the locations of everyone's industrial districts Because you, you're not always <laughs> here. You're not you're never gonna yeah. know oh, you're never, How yeah, are you gonna yeah, know? Yeah. You're not gonna know. I'm, You're not gonna know if we visited. Until 119 or not. comes, I'm putting skulk sensors, and we're, I'm gonna have a security. Stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you can try. I just broke your thing with four buttons. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I think you can bypass it. Okay. Right. Well, thank you very much for the little tour. I shall be back sure. when you're not here. Uh, okay. Good day. That was hilarious. I said troublesome twice. And he clearly didn't know what it meant, but didn't ask me either, which is so funny. So it must sound like a, a word enough to not even request a definition. And I accidentally uh, broke his, his thing. He did say I could press the button. Well, let's head back. We've got to use Troublesome two more times. We need to go and say Troublesome to two more people, and then we can get ourselves a good old dare stick to dare someone else. And our... Uh, our neighbor with a big old love heart maybe getting a dare stick coming his way I mean what's stopping you just being like oh Scar I, I dare you to make my entire base her 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 we don't want to burden Scar with that kind of thing well I'm sure we could think of a few dares right there is a beef online and there is a dog online can we find either of them hanging out we're taking a slightly different approach this time, and I've had to actually find out where Beef even is. He's like 6,000 blocks out where all the maps are. This time, I'm gonna give absolutely zero context to the word. I'm just gonna get a, get all up in his grill, and I'm gonna type it. I have no idea what this is, but it looks cool. Troublesome. Very troublesome. Hmm? Hmm? Anything? Anything? <laughs> I need a reaction, Beef! Give me something. Troublesome is a good word. I agree! I agree! How does one trouble? How does- How does one trouble? How did the creeper get here? Is that a real creeper? Is it- Is it real? What? Eh? It's like he's frozen in time. Is it not? It might be. It must be an armor stand. Well, that's weird. Wow. This is my first time inside of the new Nether Hub with it completely finished, and this starry effect is very, very cool. The only thing is, I don't actually know <laughs> where my portal is. I've come all this way and I don't know what to- Oh, I don't see a single portal. Well, there's only one person left on the server and that's Ren, so we'll go and do the same thing to him. Ah, he's here. Hello. Hello. Oh, I was just gonna say, looking very troublesome in that lovely uh, blue and pink shirt. Looks good. What does troublesome mean? What is this word? You know what it means. You never- You haven't heard of troublesome? Trouble? Too trouble? Does you does one chob? No, you you are trouble. You're troublesome. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've never heard of this word before. No, is it? Is it an actual word? It's an actual word. Really? Wait, hold on. Bye now. Don't look it up. 
<laughs> it, 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 all, it all falls apart if they look the word up. If they look it up, it all, it all falls apart. There's nothing on there. If you type, you type in troublesome, there's nothing. It says, uh, do, it doesn't even come up with, like, did you mean this? It was just, like, nothing. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Whew. Well, we got out of there before we got rambled. That is it. We have done it. We've done the dare. We've done the dare. We used troublesome three times. It is a three-syllable word with three different permits, and um, we got away with it in uh, in most cases. We got away. Ren almost rumbled us, but we don't worry. We skedaddled out of there. And that's a, that's a pro tip, everyone. If you're ever in trouble, you run. You run. If you're about to get rumbled, just run away. Never fails. Never fails. All we got left now is to collect the stick from his scow. And we will be done, and we can start thinking about what we want to dare one of our neighbors. Well, we got Scar nearby, we got Doc over here, and we got Zedaf. And although we don't cross paths very often, Zedaf lives just over here in the uh, beacon circle. Now, obviously, a dare needs to be. Tw you know, I'm going to twiddle my moustache. It needs to be devious. It needs to be bold. And it, most importantly, it needs to create some very fun content. So I'm going to have a little think about what I'm going to dare someone else to do. But in the meantime, that is the end of the episode. I think right now I'm going to turn my attention to improving this entrance to the cave and try and make a bit more progress. It may not feel like it, but I actually got quite a lot done. I didn't like time lapse it or anything, but I did spend quite a long time perfecting my kelp farm up here, but no one's interested in my kelp farm. And I also did some texturing and I dug a big old hole. Uh, so that is it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed this kelp content and I shall see you in the next episode. Goodbye.